up, guys? How y'all doing today? Well, you are J-Lo. You still ain't taking that hit. What is going on? Why does J-Lo think that everybody in Ben Affleck's wife life is on her side? Do you know that J-Lo was caught having an intense conversation with Matt Damon because there was a movie that J-Lo started, Matt Damon and stuff, and Ben Affleck produced. Ben said he was skipping the red carpet because he didn't want to distract against the movie. Shut up. You probably at the polo, polo club right now. Two vodka tonics in, kicking it with Kit Kennedy, right? But all jokes aside, J-Lo, the man don't want you. Be on your way. But she's still trying to plead her case. Do you know she's even going so far as trying to make Ben uh, jealous, being flirty with people? Y'all, let's get into this because I really do wish J-Lo would have some type of pride. But you know, at the end of the day, as much as she's mad at Ben and she's throwing all this dirt on his name and this and that. She still wants that man back. And if Ben said, baby, I'm sorry, she would go back. We all saw that little love story or whatever it was on Amazon, girl. You're going to be right back there. But Ben won't have her because he's already have, had her Jennifer Garner, his Jennifer Garner replacement. At the end of the day, I feel like JLo is only valuable to Ben to increase his publicity. Now, before some of y'all uh, Ben Affleck nights, right? Ben, Ben a maniac. Sorry, to stop it. Jay, Ben does not like the quiet life. If he liked the quiet life, he wouldn't always date the hot girl actress. Let's not forget Jennifer Garner was once the hot girl actress, but she wanted to be a mom. And Ben, every year, the marriage was pushing her to go out and be more famous. He is a known cheater. He's always dating an it girl. Of course, he's dating uh, Jennifer Garner because let's I'm sorry, Ben J-Lo, because let's not forget, I keep having to remind y'all, when J-Lo and Ben got back together, Ben was a laughing stock. He got that Phoenix tattoo. He was busy picking up 20-year-olds on Rhea and not in a cool, like, it was unironic. He was literally a loser. His career was kind of stalled. He wasn't doing anything. Anyway, get this. So anyway, J-Lo has been... Um, she has been having deep conversations with Matt Damon because she wants to explain her side of the story because Ben won't communicate or talk to her. That's right. As much as I say that Ben is a narcissist, he's cold turkey J-Lo, but I don't think he's done that because he falls under her spell. I think that's what he does every time he's done with her. He just knows that he can cut her off. And if he gives it enough time, he can write her some love letters and she'll come back. I you know what's in those love letters because at the end of the day Jennifer Garner said she fell in love with Ben over the love letters too and saved all the letters anyway they said J-Lo and Matt Damon had a long deep conversation at unstoppable after party amid the divorce um Ben Affleck co-produced the film was notably absent from the film's premiere and after party in Toronto they said J-Lo and Matt Damon engaged in a deep conversation right after posing for group pictures together at the premiere, uh, they hung out and talked over 20 minutes at the after party, which was held at some place in whatever. Doesn't matter. The insider says it was Epoch, E-P-O-C-H, Epoch, Epic. Okay, there we go. The insider says Lopez, who stars in Unstoppable, Unstoppable and is a co-producer alongside uh, Matt Damon, was sitting at a table outside with Luciana and Don Cheadle when Matt joined them. They said Jen and Matt began talking and had a long, deep conversation, adding that the two friends laughed and spoke more seriously. And for several minutes, they clapped hands as they spoke. Noticeably absent from the movie's career was Ben Affleck. Let me just say this also. I know what everybody's saying. Oh my God, Ben's sick of J-Lo and J-Lo's horrible because if, if all the rumors about what happened with her and Diddy are true, she's horrible. But let me just say this, right? Um, even Ben, why are you leaving Matt Damon to clean up your mess? Ben's like a spoiled three-year-old that just makes messes, complains, and then waddles away someplace else. And they said the biopic, which follows the real life story of Anthony Robles, who was born with one leg and eventually won the NCAA national championship, was produced with Ben Affleck and Matt Damon's production company, Artist Equity. J-Lo portrays Robles' mother, Judy, in the film, which earned a standing ovation from the crowd as the credits rolled a tip. Good for J-Lo. Well, I want to say good because what she's been, she's been wreaking havoc on TikTok. So anyway, 
Um, it is what it is. You know, at the end of the day, J-Lo is just a fool for Ben. And she is a fool in general. Even now, I think she wants Ben back, y'all. They said J-Lo's devastated after falling for divorce. It was the worst year of her life. She'll take that man back in a heartbeat. They said after the news of J-Lo filing for divorce from Ben Broke, it looks like she's still picking up the pieces. J-Lo has been through a lot in her life, but this year has really tested how much pain she can withstand. Remember when she said that she almost broke last time Ben left her? This time he married you and still did the exact ran the exact same play on you. And it would have worked, but you can't run the same play twice. Her and Jennifer Garner. And Jennifer Garner is evil. But whatever. Again, I get it. You're loyal to your kid's father, but the same person that dropped you off in the Bahamas with the kids and flew your nanny with Tom Brady over to Vegas to go have a bender. The breakup has devastated her. She wanted to try to work on their marriage, but Ben checked out and it was hopeless. When she realized that, she filed. Though she's putting on a brave face in public, behind closed doors, she's been in tears. It's the worst year of her life. Yo, they're saying that... um. Listen, she pr truly believed this was the greatest love story she'd ever known. And she was finally getting her chance at the fairy tale. She just really didn't stop to consider who the actual man was in the fairy tale. Ben, again, has a darkness to him that no other person can fix. Jennifer Garner couldn't fix it all. All the success in the world couldn't fix it. Now, uh, the split has a potential to get ugly. Why? Because Jayla wants half of Ben's money. And he, she said that she's not taken. He's paying her back for that house because she didn't even want to buy that house. He made her just like she didn't want to. Now, again, this might be Jayla playing victim. But can we just agree Ben does have a darkness to him? I think it's pathetic that Jayla is even talking to Matt Damon. I get. Oh, no, like you know, act unbothered, but that's before you publicly played me, lied to me, and humiliated me. No, and all your friends knew. Jennifer Garner knew. Matt Damon knew. Everybody was around. Everybody was helping you get rid of me. And now I'm going to sit there holding hands and being clapped in a deep conversation, pleading my case, saying I really want to work on it. J-Lo, get off the ground. Ben does not want you. He does not like you. At this point, it don't even matter what the reason is. It could be because he has a darkness to him. It could be because he's the biggest narc we've ever known. It could be because you're the most horrible person in the world. At this point, it don't matter why he doesn't want you. He has told you, I don't want you. He has said, don't talk to me. He has said, stay away from my children, basically. He has said, I don't want you spoiling my kids. He told you to keep your daughter away from his... um. Uh, uh, a daughter who's transitioning. He has told you to, and Jennifer Garner wants you gone too. Again, all the kids look like they're really close to JLo. I'm sure Jennifer Garner isn't really that happy about it because the only identity she has is being a mom. You know what I'm saying? Plus she thinks she doesn't want the kids growing up too showy to be like JLo. So I'm sure she thinks JLo is a bad influence. Everybody in this man's life has told you that you are person non grata and you still begging, pleading. It don't even matter whose fault it is anymore. J-Lo, have some dignity and get off the ground. Oh, God. Anyway, let's see what happens. I do think that J that Ben Affleck might spin the block once more, but, but that's probably only to make her look more stupid. But we're going to keep y'all posted. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.